the 53rd annual Golden Globe Awards. And the winner is... Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> I'm not an actress, so I have to read some of this. This is such a meaningful award to me because 25 years ago when I first read this book, I was seized with the idea that it could become a movie that could entertain audiences all over the world. And so I want to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press and to thank Jane Austen for creating these characters who happen to be British, just happen to be British, but could really be found in any country in the world. I want to thank Emma Thompson for her moving and hilarious screenplay, which we knew in her hands would never become too dignified. <laughs> I want to thank Ang Lee, our Taiwanese director, who somehow managed... <laughs> ...somehow managed to direct this brilliant adaptation of a classic English novel, even though many of us still believe he doesn't actually speak any English at all. <laughs> I want to thank Sidney Pollack and Jess Steer and everybody at Mirage who worked so hard to make sure this movie wouldn't become what Sidney calls one of those literary eat your spinach, it's good for you movies. Um, everybody at Columbia who worked so hard on this movie, every single person, but especially Gareth Wiggin, Lisa Henson, Ted Chigrew, Jeff Blake, Sid Gannis, and Mark Canton. James Seamus, who is such a magician at low-budget filmmaking that we managed to make this entire film for $26.75, <laughs> thereby allowing him to keep the rest of Columbia's money. Patrick Doyle for a score so beautiful and accurate that no one believes he actually wrote it. Lori Borg, Tim Squires, Anthony Bregman, a brilliant crew and an amazing cast, especially Emma and Kate. I also have to thank my family who taught me that the only way to respond to the injustices of life is to laugh at them, thereby making me a sucker for Jane Austen. And finally to my husband Rodney Kemmer, who somehow after 20 years manages to combine <laughs> the charms of Willoughby, the humor of Edward, and the loyalty of Brandon. This is for you. <laughs> Thank you so much.